Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to this quick little theory video regarding the Faction Retribution. Um, I really wanted to do a video where we tried to identify the members. Uh, I've got to be honest, uh, that's proving very difficult. Uh, there's no concrete information out there, so literally we're just going to have to go off the footage that we saw on SmackDown and I've watched it so many times, um, but I'm feeling very confident about who it isn't. I really don't think it's Ricochet or Cedric Alexander or Tommaso Ciampa, certainly not Dominic Dijakovic because he's too tall. Uh, like everyone that was in the ring was uh, not the biggest, not the tallest. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just not getting any of those vibes. I really am getting the impression this could be a group of new superstars. I know uh, a lot of rumours are saying that it could be Vanessa Bourne and Chelsea Green. My only problem with that is that the group is called Retribution because um, they feel like they've been wronged. They're here for vengeance and I don't know why Chelsea Green and Vanessa Bourne would be looking for vengeance. I don't know why they would be in a group called Retribution. We saw a lot of anti-WWE uh, moments here. Um, obviously, they spray-painted the WWE logo and then crossed it out. Uh, the word Smackdown was crossed out. One of these members actually looked down the camera and said, this is our house now. So there does seem to be uh, a real resentment towards WWE. And that's understatement of the year. But um, I do get the feeling like this could have something to do with Evolve. Um, we touched on this in the video that we did last night. But Evolve has been bought by WWE. And it could be that this is a group of Evolve superstars that are upset at the fact that Evolve has now been purchased by WWE. And uh, just to kind of cement that thought, um, the chainsaw moment was uh, a real key moment, I think. Um, there's not too many people asking why the guy's got a chainsaw. But it was something that I wondered because they don't tend to be lying around. So uh, I couldn't figure out why a chainsaw had been produced. And I've got to tell you that on the current active Evolve roster, there is a superstar called Chainsaw Joe Gacy. And uh, Joe Gacy has made quite a few appearances for Evolve. He is one of their bigger stars. He is, I believe, the current CZW heavyweight champion as well. So you're talking about a decent name, someone that's known uh, for a connection with chainsaws, and he is of a similar build to the guy that cut the ropes on SmackDown last night. Now, that's literally what, what we're dealing with at the moment. There is no uh, concrete information, as we said. But just looking at the rest of the Evolve roster, uh, if you have a look at uh, the assault that happened, a lot of people are saying that's Chelsea Green and Vanessa Bourne because of the hair. But equally, it could be a couple of women from the Evolve roster, people like Avery Taylor and Brandy Lauren. Um, there is real potential that it's actually them rather than Chelsea Green and Vanessa Bourne. Um, the person that addresses the camera could be Leon Ruff. Leon Ruff uh, has made multiple appearances for Evolve. Um, and he actually signed with WWE just the other week. Uh, a lot of people are saying they feel that it's Xavier Woods or Whackin' Wild. Um, I've got to tell you, Xavier Woods, I believe, is out injured at the moment and I'm not expecting him back yet. Uh, and also, just listening to the voice, I, I just really don't think it was him. Uh, in regards to Whackin' Wild, uh, he's in the Phantasma group, so down in NXT, so I don't think they would move him 
into this group, but it's worth mentioning these names because, of course, we could be well off with this Evolve theory. So it's just worth knowing about who people are talking about at the moment. People are saying Xavier Woods, Wacken Wild, Chelsea Green, Vanessa Bourne. I'm, I'm hearing Ricochet and Cedric Alexander getting mentioned. And um, there's quite a few names that are out there. But uh, just a lot of theories at this stage. But just bear in mind the Evolve theory. Uh, I, I do like that. I am leaning that way. But uh, I would love to know your thoughts down in the comments below. Uh, thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope that gave you a bit of food for thought. And hopefully we get some answers on this very, very soon. Awesome, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.